Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today's video is just a day in my life, so I'll take you guys through. I have some errands to run later. I'm gonna go pick up Elena, and I think we might go check on the house. So it's just gonna be a normal day, but I thought it would be fun to kind of try out the clean girl aesthetic today. So if you guys don't know what that is, it's a very, very trending. I think it started on TikTok and Pinterest. It doesn't necessarily mean that she's clean, but just her whole aesthetic and lifestyle is just very minimal and classic and effortless. And I'm going to pop some pictures on screen of kind of like what the aesthetic is. So when it comes to fashion, everything's very minimal and matching and a lot of like matching sets. Their makeup is very like minimal, and glowy and youthful. To be honest, I've always kind of loved those aspects of wardrobe and makeup anyway so it's been really fun to try it out i don't really see a lot of modest hijabi girls trying out this aesthetic so i was trying to figure out what kind of hijab style would a clean girl wear and i have gone with the vela i think it's a bamboo material but it's just that more effortless undone type of hijab style but for hairstyle that is a very like specific type of look for a clean girl it's that slick back bun you use one of those smoothing combs and you use oil and you just have this beautiful slick back bun i actually did elena's hair like that this morning elena is currently rocking the clean girl bun how stinking cute is that you guys my sisters have been rocking this exact same hairstyle basically all summer because it's just easy and then you slick it back with one of these smoothing brushes. This is actually Lauren's, she gave it to me. <laughs> you can part it really easily with the tip on the end. So if you guys wanna rock this look too, this brush is essential. That is basically the aesthetic that I'm going for, which I will share a little bit more of my outfit. This is my version of the modest, clean girl, running errands, effortless vibe. So I have on a black tank top, black wide leg pants. So it just looks really seamless and kind of imitates that like matching set. Then I have on a button down linen top for some coverage and since it's linen, it's a lot more breathable in this heat. Then I have on the Vela Bamboo hijab like I shared earlier. I threw this on with some sandals, which you could definitely do a pair of sneakers, but like I said, it's just very hot right now. Then I threw on some gold jewelry, which I feel like just really completes the look. I'm so excited to be working with Monica Vinader in today's video. I'm gonna share with you guys all the beautiful pieces they sent over and how I style them. You guys, I screamed whenever I opened up this package. Their packaging is so luxurious and beautiful, and I have just been a Monica Vinader fan for so many years so whenever I saw how many pieces I got you guys we're about to get into it so all of their pieces are made with hundred percent recycled sterling silver and 18 karat gold vermeil and all of their gemstones pearls and diamonds are all ethically sourced first up I am wearing the Alta capture charm necklace this I believe gives a little bit more of a bold statement it's not as dainty you can definitely see it from further away which I absolutely love because it really does give that gold luxurious pop to your look and I love wearing gold with black because I just feel like it pops more this is the Alta textured chain bracelet it's super dainty and just such a good everyday lightweight bracelet I love a good layered bracelet stack if I was to recommend anything from this brand it would probably be their signature skinny bangle it is the most beautiful classic piece of jewelry that you can wear every single day my method with jewelry is to try to build a collection that I can wear on a daily basis. I'm not looking for pieces really that are just for special occasions. I want to be able to feel luxurious 
every single day. Now this bracelet really caught my eye. This is the Joanna Wide Chain Bracelet. I may be pronouncing that incorrectly. I'm sorry if I am. It is so unique and stunning. I just love the texture on that. Isn't that so pretty? And I need Omar to help me put it on because I'm so bad at putting bracelets on by myself. Look how pretty those look together. Oh, I'm obsessed. Next, let's talk about some of the necklaces that I got. This is the triple beaded layered necklace set. I love this. It also comes with a choker, but the choker was just a little bit too short to share with my hijab, but these two are the perfect length. I love them so much, so dainty, and I love that it comes in a set so you don't really have to think about how you're going to layer them. Another one of my absolute favorite pieces is their Riva ring. You guys know I wore this ring to death a few years ago. It was in rose gold, but I've been wearing more of the yellow gold recently so I'm so excited to have it in yellow gold now to match the rest of my jewelry. Also layered it with this Corda skinny ring. So so beautiful. I love those together. The last necklace that I got is the Joanna heirloom necklace. Is that not so pretty? It's adjustable so you can make it shorter. I think this might be the longest length but I still feel like that's a really good length and i'm so obsessed i believe it does come in a bracelet form as well i just feel like it really elevates my outfit so i will have all the pieces from monica vinader linked down below and thanks to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video i'm about to go run out the door and run some errands actually omar just called me and said that his car died so i'm gonna go pick him up he is at the airport right now because he's taking flight lessons or pilot lessons he's gonna get his private pilot license and I'm a little bit nervous, honestly, but he is like, if anyone's gonna be trustworthy to fly a plane, it would be him. It's been like a lifelong dream of his. Threw on the little lemon belt bag because I feel like it just really goes with this look and it just gives off that more effortless, on the go vibe that a clean girl would wear. Omar is currently jumping his car with mine and I feel really bad because I don't even know how to do that. He has taught me before and I just, my brain, I just don't get this kind of stuff. Do you guys see the temperature outside? It is killer this week. Oh my God. Oh, I jumped his car so he can drive home now. Yeah. But I, it's so hot today. It is so Are hot. Okay? Oh my God. I need water. <laughs> yeah. Actually, oh no, I did not bring my water. It's okay. Oh, so I'll just sorry. get some when I get home. I wanted to ask you about the flight. How yeah. was it today? So today was my third flight. I did much better flying. You did? Okay. I did much better flying. I need still need to work on the, the landings. The landing. The landings uh, got worse today. Worse? Yeah. Oh more. Oh, I'm so scared. It's literally. natural. He said it's a natural regression. I've only flown so far, not quite four hours. He said definitely by eight to 12 hours, I'll I'll have it down. Okay, inshallah. He's not gonna let me go on my own until I'm ready to be on my own. Okay. So I have to like prove to him that okay. I can handle all situations, engine failure, all that stuff, so. Tell them why you wanted to be trained to fly. Well, I've always wanted to fly planes, like, so ever since I was a kid, that was like a big dream of mine was yeah. to fly planes. We travel a lot. We, so. we travel a lot, exactly. So if we have the means to be able to, you know, get our own plane maybe in the future at some yeah, point. Yeah, inshallah maybe one inshallah. day. Maybe not, but I mean, just learning how to fly the plane and then being able to fly. Even just being able to like go to Dallas yeah. or like Austin, which are like several hour drive from where we live. Yeah, Austin, be just that would flight. be very nice to fly to Austin. We would definitely go there more often. Houston, we would go there a lot more often. Yeah. You know, and then maybe at some point Colorado. Yeah, maybe you know, the smaller places, Those but... states are a little bit closer, but yeah. Baby steps. Let's Baby steps. learn how to fly the plane. <laughs> yeah, let's learn how to fly first. <laughs> exactly. We had to jump Omar's car three times on the way home and it's so hot outside and I feel so bad. So Omar's currently looking for a new car. I just had a question. Mm -hmm. Do do I look like a clean girl today? A, a what? A clean girl. A clean girl? Yes. I mean, yeah. Hello you guys, it is the next day. I was planning on yesterday being a full day in the life, but it was literally a hot mess. Yesterday we had to jumpstart Omar's car three times on the way home from his flight lesson, which just took forever and it was so hot. Poor Omar, I felt so bad for him like being out in the heat. It was just so hard to get home. Then Elena got home at that point. I didn't have time to run my errands and she was just so fussy. So we just put the vlog 
vlog camera away yesterday. I'm picking it up again. I just finished up working and filming some things that I needed to earlier and I have a little bit of time to run some errands now. Just picked up my order from Starbucks. This is the Venti Iced Passion Tea and you guys, it is so refreshing. If you're looking for a healthy drink from Starbucks that's like refreshing, this doesn't have any sugar and it's just really like tart. I just love this tea in the summer and Elena really likes drinking it too. I actually already stopped by Sephora, which I'll insert some clips. The shelves were empty. It was such a bust. I was planning on doing a full Sephora haul with you guys because I need so much makeup. We have a Sephora inside JCPenney's in our town and they were literally just wiped out. All the milk makeup bronzer sticks were gone. Like all the good makeup was literally gone. I'm gonna be placing an order online soon. I did stop by Ulta though because I needed a new um, It Cosmetics CC Nude Glow. This has been my favorite tinted moisturizer recently. I love the regular CC cream, but it's full coverage. This one is more of a tint. So it is just like really lightweight, perfect for summer, SPF 40. I love it so much, so glowy. I have one more errand actually. I have to run into H&M and return some of Elena's sandals because her foot is literally growing so fast, like literally every week. And she is still taking a nap. So I'm gonna try to do that last little errand and then we'll go pick her up. We're actually gonna stop by the house. So I'll show you guys a little mini update over there. see the house before we pick up Elena and we're filming for the house series video so there'll be a full like basically a tour like a house tour in that video but I'll just give you guys like a little sneak peek of the entry and they started putting in the windows so I'll show you guys a little bit okay little update and if you guys want to see the full update it's in the house series video that I think we just posted they did install some of the windows in the front not all of them but they're looking so so good. They did start the arches in the entry and the entry hallway, which is looking so, so good. But anyways, okay, that's all I'm gonna share in this video. Oh, I, I know, I just didn't wanna. Ice! Ice! ice. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> took mama's drink. Ice! Right. Ice! Oh, you just want the ice? Okay. Please Elena, please I wanted to show you your new outfit I got you from H&M. Please! You please, like it? Please. did my skincare, made myself a cup of tea. I am actually wearing my friend Aisha's merch. This is her happy looks good on you sweatshirt. I'll have her shop linked below. She has some really cute pieces. I just kind of left my vlog camera to the side because it was a little bit crazy at my mom's house. It's always crazy with a toddler, but basically we just hung out and we had paninis for dinner. We saw the house, which I showed you guys a little sneak peek. That pretty much was my day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again to Monica Vinadier for sponsoring. Don't forget to check out the pieces that I linked down below. They have the most beautiful jewelry. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.